Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to fill in the gap between the wall and the baseboard. So if you take a look right here, I'm going to put the camera close to the wall, you can see that there is a significant gap between the wall and the baseboard. And when the time comes to paint the baseboard and have them all completely finished, I don't want to see that gap because it will, it it won't look great, plain and simple. So um, some people like to fill in this gap using silicone, um, but I would rather fill it in using some drywall compound. So this video will be based on the method that I am showing you um, with drywall compound. Now you can also substitute the drywall compound with wood filler and use the same method. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your finger and just get some drywall compound on your finger. Then you are going to use that drywall compound on your finger to fill in the gap. Just like that. I, it doesn't matter if it's messy because we will be cleaning it up later. So just continue to get some more um, drywall compound on your finger and just rub it into the gap. And I'm going to continue doing that. So now, as you can see, I have filled in the gap with the drywall compound. And if I let the drywall compound dry just like this, I will have to sand quite a bit to get off all of this excess. So what I'm going to do instead is, while the drywall compound is still wet, so I've literally just finished filling in the gap, I'm going to take this damp rag and I'm going to just rub it along the area to remove the excess. Now you might have to do more than one pass with the damp rag. As you can see there's still some excess so I'm going to just go over it one more time. Um, you might have to do sometimes three or four passes as you can see. And I'm just going to continue until all of the excess is gone. Alright so now as you can see I have used the damp rag to remove all of the excess drywall compound and I'm just going to hold the camera close to the wall so that you can see that the gap between the wall and the baseboard has been completely filled in. Now all that I have to do is uh, give this uh, drywall compound enough time to dry and once it has dried I can simply paint over the baseboard and the gap will be completely completely covered and as you know you can definitely paint over drywall compound really easily. And it's literally that simple. That is how you fill in the gap between the wall and the baseboard. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.